Mexico by the Ventures, a somewhat obscure title of theirs, and it does have hints of uh, south of the border music or of, um, or of even Greek islands type of music. Lots of double stops, some tremolo picking, and um, I have the tab, I'm going to put it in the description so you can just click on that and get the link, but we're going to go over this note for note. I think you'll find that it's not that difficult, there's really only three chords, everything fits in nicely, and uh, we'll get to learn a few double stop tricks. Okay, see you in just a sec. Okay, gang. Well, let's go over this note for note. First things first, you'll notice I am playing an electric guitar with an acoustic guitar emulator. Yeah, I'm being lazy. I know it's an acoustic guitar. You want to get out yours, dude? Go ahead. Go for it. I don't want to hear about it, all right? Okay, that's number one. Number two is I try to choose the arrangement such that it maintains the authenticity and the notes that are there but it may, I've chosen something that I think is easier uh, to play, so or is easiest to play. And uh, so I've tried to do that as much as possible, and that's in the tab. So, um, let's go for it now, all right? So, let's go over that intro. So the intro, like most double stops, is all on the second and first strings. It kind of goes like this. <laughs> So again, like, like double stops are in adjacent strings, in this case the first two, and um, you're playing usually on the higher voicing, in this case the first string, you've got a lower fret. So we'll start out with 10 and 12 on the first and second respectively. Slide down to 9 and 10. Eight and, uh, I'm sorry, 7 and 8. 5 and 7. Three and five, two and three. All right. Once again, slowly. All right. So that is that. Here's the first line. So it starts out, this is mostly on the second and third strings, and um, it starts out on the 10 on the second and 11 on the third. Let's go down to 7 and 7. Okay, now we'll go 12, 12, 10, 11, uh, 8, 9, 7, 7. Oops, not 7, 7. We're going to play on the fourth and third, we're going to play 11 and 12. And then back up to 10 and, tw uh, 10 and 11, and 7, 7. Now why do I play it that way? Two reasons. First reason is I like the slide sound of this. Sounds authentic to me, so I like to keep it. Second thing is, <clears throat> when you're playing this, now you could play that, but it's really hard to play it at speed. Why? Because this chord the second time around is really, you're not set up for it because you're playing all the way down here and you got to move up here. So it's easier if you play this. It's just really easy and natural to play it. So it, it goes like this. Okay, one last time let's play it, the whole thing. Here's the second line. Messed up a little bit. Now those two 
lines are probably the two hardest lines in the whole song. So you get those down, you get it. All right, so here's the line broken down. Start on the seventh. You're going to play the fourth string alone. That's not a double stop. Then we'll play seven seven on the second, on the third and second. Or on the, we'll do second and third. That's the, the that's kind of we'll do the top voicing first. So seventh and seven. Um, that's eight and nine. 10 and 11. So you're just going down a half step, bringing that whole thing down. Okay. Uh, you're just going down a half step from 10, 11 to 9, 10 uh, when you do that. To me, that's very reminiscent of Greek islands type of music. Um, anyway, okay. So that one's another hard line. So you play 12, 12, um, 10, 11, 8, 9, and that is uh, on the fourth string and third string, you're going to play the, on the third string, you're going to play the 11th, on the fourth string, the 12th. And then you play 8th and 9th on the second and third. You slide up to 10, 11, and back down to 8, 9. Okay, here it is slowly, all right? Okay, now you're going to go to, that's actually an A, part of an A7 triad, so you're already at the A7 chord, or the A major chord. So now we're going to play a line that the next line, which is a, over an A chord. Okay. So imagine that you're playing this bar chord, that A, but you're only playing four, three, and two strings. All right, so that's how you start out. You play uh, this one seven and six a few times. Six and five. Slide up to eight nine. I'm sorry. I was. It's five and six, right? Five is the top voice. Six is the third string. That's eight and nine. Twelve, twelve, and then you do the same half step thing. Then fourteen, fourteen. And that you do a tremolo, okay? So, so doing a tremolo. I don't know, look, there's lots of different ways you can do it. I use, I don't know, I guess some people call this the George Benson method of picking. I don't know. I don't think about it that way. Or the gypsy method of picking. I don't think about it that way. I just do it the way I picked it up. Most people pick by angling forward. I angle backward, and the tremolo for me works best for that. But you're going to have to angle for sure. So you can go up and down very quickly uh, when you're doing that tremolo. And you don't want to be straight on with your pick because then it's going to catch too much. It catches too much. You don't want it to catch too much. So when you angle it, it has less friction between the strings. So that's kind of how you do a tremolo. We could do another lesson on that sometime. But anyway, that's what it is. All right, so here's the line again. Okay, here's the next line. Transitions back to that D, okay? So the first part is exactly the same. And the last part is just 12, 12, 14, 14, 12, 12, and you just kind of walk down this double stops. That's 10, 11, 8, 9. And seven seven. Okay, one last time. Okay, here's the next line. So this 
line is actually a lot more simple than you think. It starts out with a D arpeggio. So this is a standard D major arpeggio. Oops, yeah, and I messed it up. So you're starting on the fifth string, that's a D, right? That's a root note of a D. And uh, so you play fifth string, fifth fret. Then you play fourth string, fourth fret. And then seventh fret on the fourth string. 7th fret on the 3rd string, 7th fret on the 2nd string, 5th fret on the 1st, and up to the 10th fret, which is a D, on the 1st string. One more time, a little bit slower, or a little bit more continuous. You made your triad. Okay? Okay, you land on this. Uh, this one is seven and eight, seven on the first string and eight on the second. That's a part of a G major triad. Um, this one then would be um, uh, nine and ten and ten and twelve. And then you trem on this one, which is seven and eight. Now, if you don't want to play those two, uh, I think actually um, those two double stops, you can just play the single notes. You can play the. You can play this one right here, which is the ninth on the first and the tenth on the first, and it'll sound fine. That's fine. I like playing the double stops, so I stay with this one. Okay, so let's go over it again fairly slowly. pretty simple. You basically are just, you trem a lot, <clears throat> and then what you what you do is you play this one right here, which is the 7 and 8. And then you transition up to this one right here, which is the 9 on the first string and 10 on the second string, which is an A. And you do a passing chord that's just chromatic, right? So you just go a half step up. trim that. Okay, here's the last line of the first part. Okay, so, so this one is simply playing your friend, what should now be your friend, on the first two strings you're playing the seven and the eight on the second, seven on the first, eight on the second, and you're hammering on on the first from seven to nine and letting it go. And then you're transitioning to the first part of the song. So this is on the second string and third string. It's 10 and 11 and then 8 and 9. And then you're back to that, that old... Uh, okay, which is exactly the same. Now, what's a little bit different the second time around is uh, once you get to the uh, once you get to the G again. Um, so uh, we'll start it from once you get to this part. Okay, so so far that's the same. Okay. But what's different now is you're going to play this. Okay, so the first line is this. You're going to play tw uh, this. Okay, 
so this is just going 12, you're going through a D scale. So it's 12, on the first string it's 12, 10, 9. Okay, on the second string it's 12 and 10. Okay, then you're playing the 10 and you're playing the 11th on the second string. You're going back and forth between those. Okay, then you'll play this one. You'll, you'll just kind of walk it down a whole uh, step and you'll play this. Now again, you can play this in a lot of different positions. I'm just playing it in this position. It's 10, 9 on the first string and then 12, 10 on the second string. And then you go 12, 9, 12, 9, and so forth. Okay, and then there's a couple different ways you can play this. You can play, uh, let's just play this one right here. So you play this little A, which is uh, on the first two strings, which is 9 and 10, on, on the 10 on the, 9 on the first, 10 on the second. And then you play 10, 10, which is a D chord. Okay, so here's the whole line. Let's round it up with the last part, which is this. I'll play the whole thing and then we'll break it apart. starts with a little turnaround here and it's this right here you're playing on the second string you play tenth nine on the third and then walk up to the twelve see but instead of just playing the twelfth you walk up by going through the eleventh that is so it's ten eleven twelve instead of just playing that you you little you get a little bit of hammer on now that's a little bit tough because you have to extend your pinky Pretend you're drinking a tea at an English tea party, and uh, you have to extend your pinky to the, the 14th and kind of hammer on and pull off that. And then play the, this note, which is the 12th on the 3rd. Okay, next one is this. Okay, so that's 12, 10, 9 on the 1st. And on the 2nd, you're playing 12, 10. Uh, but then you're you're giving this little dipsy doodle, right? You're hammering on, pulling off, uh, ten to twelve, and then playing the eleventh on the third. Now you just shift that whole thing down to the tenth or to the seventh position, and that's just um, ten, nine, seven, and then ten and. Uh, eight and then you're hammering on uh when you play the eighth you play eight ten eight and that hammer on pull off and play the ninth on the third and then you play your same two chords on the first two strings you're playing this one which is the ninth and tenth and then ten ten okay let's play that whole last piece and uh, i think we'll call it a day so the whole last piece starts from this little arpeggio. short time. Um, so anyway, not exactly a rocker, 
But it's a cool tune to learn and something you can certainly take away and improvise with. Double stops are a wonderful vehicle to add some uh, uniqueness and flavor to your playing, especially when you're soloing. Okay, until uh, next time, we'll see you on Down the Road. Bye-bye.